here. Now I'm gonna go through here. Hey everybody, hey everybody. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, July the 17th, 2018. It's me, your girl, gospel hip hop pastor, recording artist, and degree, bachelor degree in accountant down at the University of Illinois where I went to school and I'm here at the TV studio. City of Urbana Builder. Tell me, this is Mr. TV Man here. What's up guys? I'm here to uh, film her today. Are you excited yes, about that? Yes, I'm excited. You know, I love TV. Do what I do. I'm excited. Do what I do. I'm excited. Now, you know what? I must be real. I got to give a little credit to, I know, another station. Is that okay? Go ahead. Channel 3, Pat Madcap. Hey, you know how I do. Give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do, y'all. Y'all know what I do. Live TV, live TV. But this is real. Now, I'm going to. Oh, I see. I got one of my friends. Hey, Mr. An oh, Pastor. Angelo Jones, we are praising the Lord down at the University of Illinois, but we're going to do a little gospel hip-hop, too. And my live TV show, I'm going to be filming every week, giving the gospel, but also letting the young people, well, I ain't going to tell nobody I'm old, how old I am. It's going to be a weekly show? If they allow me, it's going to be weekly. We're going to talk about that. Let's see how good we do today. Yeah. And then maybe they might think about letting me come on here every week. Anything can happen. Anything, Anything can happen. happen. Mr. TV en Engineer. What's the name of the TV studio? UPTV. UPTV. UP TV. Up TV. And we're going to do live stream today. So you all going to get a first hand of what I got to do. Now he's going to film me. So tell everybody. Oh, hey. Reach everybody. Emmett Till Relative. Evangelist Charlotte. Y'all know how I do. Just go ahead on. Share this on your page. So everybody... For the next half an hour, I'm getting ready to film my first debut preview of my debut TV show. Let's see how it works. Let's we're going to see how it goes, okay? I'm also going to sing at the end, and we're going to talk a little bit about Emmett Till and how I got started, a little bit of my background. But we're going to also let you see a little footage from the Emmett Till family. And, you know, they're talking about the investigation being opened. Well, I got to tell you the truth about that, okay? Because they're not really telling the truth to family my uncle, Willa Parker Jr., we all know the truth about that. We're going to talk about that later. He's going to film me. So everybody, hit up everybody. Tell them to watch me live, okay? Now I'm going to try to add some friends by putting their names up. Let's see. This is how I do right now. This is how they fanned out. Oh. Do you do uh, <laughs> the, do the live TV? No, I, I mean, we do Facebook live Mr. Sometimes. Young. Yeah, well, I, this is what I do. They love for me to do live TV. They just love it. It's oh, like, is that right? Yeah, we're about to love it in about twenty minutes. Then. Yeah, we're getting ready to go in the studio, the actual studio. So some of y'all, y'all see what I'm doing now because some of my friends may not be at work, and some of them might be cheating and watching me, and they're supposed to be at work. <laughs> well, that's good. All righty, Facebook friends, I'm gonna be. Hey, James Grooves, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, live down in here, Urbana, Illinois, Champaign University, Illinois, what's up, what's up, what's up, hey, how you doing, McCall and Smith, alrighty, y'all can tell all your friends now, this is Emmett Till Relative, we're giving honor today to God, but we also going to do something, talk about the youth and sing a song Debut dedicated. Debut show today. Debut show. Debut show. Don't forget it. Debut. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you want to feel me coming in? Yeah. Watch this, y'all. I'm not going to go back too much because I might lose my Wi-Fi. Okay. Can we swap the camera Don't around? touch it because if you do it, it'll come pop off. My phone is real funny. Hey everybody, Evangelist Charlotte, related to Emmett. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna sing my song, my new song. Congratulations, everybody's been talking to me out here. I'm gonna sing it, and I'm gonna show a little bit of the movie documentary about the Emmett Till family. And on the serious note, they're talking about the reopening of the investigation. Now. I will say some things about it later because they are not really talking about the way the family will talk about it. Let's talk about it like that. Okay, but we can come on in the live. Yeah, why don't you come off on in here? Careful walking up. All right. Hey, 
already. Are you excited? Thank you, Mr. TV man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Here, you can switch it around. Okay. By clicking that button right there. This one? Yep. There you go. All righty, y'all. All righty. Wasn't that cool? I got my engineer. I'm moving up in the world, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Mr. Young. Absolutely. I had to call him by his last name because he has the first name of a very good friend of mine I used to date back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, but that's one of my friends. We ain't supposed to be telling about business, Dad. This is TV, Dad. We we all in. We getting ready to go on the TV studio. Hey, it's the city building. Shout it's the city, the city. Bu city uh, building. You don't like television? Do you like television, sir? You like television? No. Okay, I won't show you. I won't show you. You don't like TV. Hey, I know you don't like TV, Miss OK. The big boss is here, y'all. Quiet, the big boss. This one. <laughs> I'm silly. I'm very opinionated. I'm real silly. OK. This is the important room now. You can show. Um, I can show. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, y'all know this is important to me. This is where I belong in City Hall. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, this is not the TV studio area, you guys. This, these are not props. This is the real city council where they have meetings and stuff. But as you know, my relative, God rest her soul, step, former state representative Shirley Jones, she's one of the reasons why I really have a great interest in things like this. See where they make meetings and stuff. And by me having a bachelor's degree in accounting, I only have a bachelor's degree. I graduated from Roosevelt University because I was too much into the arts when I was at the University of Illinois. Uh -huh. So I didn't spend enough time in the books. I just spent all my time on, on the, the stage <laughs> doing what I do now. How about that? And when I was 17 years old that's and I was at the University of Illinois, yeah, that's guess pretty. what I was doing? What? They had the auditorium theater. Mm -hmm. I helped to free Mandela by dancing with the African troupe when I was 17. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm you old girl. I'm an old girl. She was in it to win it. I was in it to win it. Mm. And I was a Kappa kitten. Hey, Pearl Staples, that's my cousin, Emmy Till relative. Love you, sweetie pie. Mm. Love you. Mm. And let's see, this is uh Smith. Let's see. Mc, can you read this for me? What does that say? Mikhail, Mikhail and Smith. McKeithian. McKeithian. Nice name. Keithy and Smith. Hey, Pastor Andre Carter. God bless your soul. God bless you. I need you all's prayers. I'm getting ready to film my debut preview show, TV show. I'm in the actual studio. All righty, let's get in here. And also, I'm going to show you an excerpt of the Pastor Mo's Right movie talking about Mamie Till Mobley and my very last filmed interview of Simeon Wright, God rest his soul. We know we lost him last year, the day after my birthday. So it's very important what we're doing. And guess what? I got invited by a president. And I'm going to show you the picture later, okay? So I'm going to show tuned. you later on. So stay. Don't y'all hang up now. Now y'all in the studio. Now I'm getting ready to show you. This is what I got to go through when I'm filming. See all the cameras and everything and the engineers. That's my boss. That's the big boss deer inside the <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. Massive, massive. Can we? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. If y'all see me and Matt Mac, Mac, Mac have be talking about, we talk about everything. We talk about race. It don't matter. But anyway, this is the way I do because I'm a little bit silly too because one of my great granddaddies was white and one was black. So I don't have no innovations. I just, you know. I love my brothers, but y'all know my friends. I got all kind of friends. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> this is the TV studio. Look at this, y'all. Urbana Public Television. Isn't that great? God is good. And these guys, Jason and Mr. Young, I'm going to call him by his first name because we don't want y'all to think I'm talking about my ex-boyfriend. Mr. Young, he's going to help me. While I'm, they're going to help me get my field together. So you all will be first to see the, what I'm going to do. And then it's going to air on TV. And we're going to put an excerpt of it on my YouTube page for those that won't get a chance to see it. So don't y'all 
Y'all stay tuned now. Y'all tell everybody this is Emmett Till Relative, Evangelist Charlotte. I want to give honor to God. We're going to pray later, okay? We're going to get started. We're going to pray for everybody as well. So y'all know I'm going to give some word. And y'all know I'm going to sing a little gospel hip-hop. Y'all know I'm going to do what I do for the young people. I'm not going to tell you my age. Let's pretend that I'm just like 25, okay? All righty. Hey, cuz Arthur Martin, love you. Your birthday is July 24th. Oh, my God. Tell me where you at. You in the city of Chicago? I'll be there next week. Hey. Birthday is July. July. Say happy birthday to happy me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday is to Is that really you. your, who is that? He's one of the Emmett Till relatives. Ah, Arthur Martin. There's a lot of relatives. Some of these people live in other cities. And if you represent your city, post and tell me what city. I'm going to talk about you all at the end. Let me see how many people from Chicago, mm -hmm. how many people from Atlanta. But we have a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. So let's get going. Yeah. Now, he had to keep me focused because y'all know once I get on TV, y'all love television. I don't think we need to put you on TV for you to get <laughs> Y'all know when I don't have a TV, I create my own TV. <laughs> <laughs> that part of the joy, though. Oh, you're smart. Now, that makes it so much easier. You are so smart. Okay, that's right. Oh, I yeah. have to do it because it'll cut off. It's so temperamental. Did it cut off? No, it's fine. Okay. Do you have enough battery on here, though? Do you know? Oh, I got a, I got a cord. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I'm scared to move it and see if it's I, if I have enough battery. Because if I, if I touch that the wrong way, it'll go back to the regular screen. I'm oh. good. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. You know why? We're just gonna get started. What and you should do is, um, it's, it's you should end it, it and tell them. It's going to be on YouTube and that they can watch the YouTube link. I don't want to end it because some of them, they big bosses, they're not going to put back in. I okay. Because I did that once and I lost half my audience. Good idea for younger people, but some of them, they're not going to want to do that because they'd be like, I don't have time. Well, go so, ahead and take a seat so I can get you mic'd up. We can get this thing started right now. Okay. Are you ready? Do you want to? <laughs> yes, I am ready. <clears throat> let me check if you're good on your Facebook stream. Okay, let me move over this way because they can't see me. Hey, y'all. Now, I'm getting ready to start the television show, so Hang on, I'm going to still be looking at you, and then I'm going to come up for all my friends that I can't see right now. All right. I'm going to come up later at the end of the interview, and I'm going to name everybody's name that's hitting me up, okay? All right. All right. And let me check if you're good on the camera real quick, and we'll get okay. started. Hang on. Okay. Before I do anything, you all know I got to give you some words. We know we got to start off with the Word of God, okay? And that's how I do. Now, what camera should I look in if I want them to see the front of me? Right here? Yep. Okay. So, I'll look at, I'll look over here to my Facebook friends every once in a while, you guys. You know how I got to. Now, before we go any further, first of all, you know, I'm an evangelist. I'm Evangelist Chardelat. I just go by Evangelist Chardelat because my last name is Jones. That's my birth name. And I'm going to give you a little bit of my background. But there's so many Joneses in the world. Mostly good, few bad people. So <laughs> I don't want you to think that, you know, just because I'm a Jones, you know, everybody's not related to me. My first love's last name was Jones. We were not related now. Don't get crazy. <laughs> but my first love's name was Curtis Jones. And I also have an uncle who's an Emmett Till relative named Curtis Jones. So. Some people was thinking I was losing it, but no, I went to the prom with him and I got pictures on my Facebook. So, Jones is a beautiful name. My father's name is Charles Jones and my mom's name is Eleanor Jones. Some of you know I lost my father last year. We're going to talk about that briefly. And God rest his soul. We also lost Uncle Simeon Wright the day after my birthday. My birthday is September 3rd. So at the end of the show, I'm going to sing about congratulations, my new song. They're talking about it all on TV, but I'm giving some honor to God first. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the Emmett Till family as well. So first, I want everybody to just, if you have any needs from the Lord, you, some of you don't know that I'm also a prophetess. A prophetess means that God uses his word, first of all, knowing the Bible, First of all, being saved, and I've been born again since 1981. Since 1981, I've been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. 
And some of y'all don't believe in all that, but I'm going to give you the word of God real quickly um, because I'm also a pastor. I don't carry my title, but for over 15 years, I started a ministry a long time ago called Shars Productions, working with boys, keeping them out of trouble by putting them in my place. I'm a playwright. So some of you didn't know that I was a pastor, but I, I just don't carry a title. I just do what God calls me to do. Now, also, later I, in New York, I got my official tax exempt number under Set Free Ministries. Um, that's been like, oh, maybe 13 years ago. And um, I've been going through some issues lately because I have a lot of women that are impersonating me that are not even saved. And some, one lady is calling herself evangelist and she's not born again. So don't call me evangelist, call me evangelist Charlotte. And also, I had went through some times when people were hating on me, saying, calling me Beyonce. I didn't know who she was. I know one Beyonce. She's real nice in Chicago. She's a radio DJ, Beyonce Fox. I met her a long time ago. She's real sweet. But I had never heard of Beyonce, you know, it was Carter, whatever name, Jay-Z's wife. So please don't confuse us. Also, there has been some trouble of uh, people trying to steal my story. The Emmett Till movie was started 10 years ago by me. I've been filming documentary, and now all of a sudden, people want to face me out by coming out with the Emmett Till story. I don't know why the, our relatives allow them to do this, but I don't have anything with what um, the lady on Empire is doing. That's not my story. My story will be different because I'm the first person that Auntie Mamie Till Mobley, Emmett Till's mother, she sat down with me personally in her home a few times when I was a little bit younger. And she asked me to do the story about her son, Emmett Till. I'm going to tell you in my future show why I didn't. And I wanted to, but I was working with the boys and I was going through a lot of persecution. So for that reason, I was just not able to do it. I wish that I had did what she wanted me to do while she was alive, but she did deposit some nuggets in me and my grandmother told me some things about the story of Emmett Till because she was the one Mamie Till Mobley was informed by my grandmother Willa Mae Jones Wright, Pastor Mose Wright's first child about the fact that her son had been killed so there's a lot of history also ironically and I'm not going to say too much because I want you all to hear about this in the future Ironically, my birthday, September the 3rd, is the day that Emmett Till had his real big funeral at Robert's Temple. I have a little interview in my movie of me and Pastor Wardlow at Robert's Temple in a little bit as well. I have on the footage that we're going to show, a little bit of is at the Smithsonian Institute came to Robert's Temple, Jet Magazine um, the owner of Jet Magazine was there. I got a little bit of footage of her on TV. So all of this is okay because I'm family. I'm the first great-grandchild of Pastor Mo's wife, who was Emmett Till's great uncle, and also was his home that Emmett Till was snatched out of. So Uncle Simeon Wright was interviewing with me. So don't come right me talking about, I don't have the rights. Yeah, I have more rights to interview because I'm the one that his mom wants to do to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's all I'm going to say. Um, also, the story about people saying that it's we, it's the, my Uncle Willow Parker Jr., he's really my second cousin, my father's first cousin. It's not true. They're not reopening the case of Emmett Till. The truth is, the case was never closed. Now, that's what my uncle said, and he's the one that should know. Willow Parker Jr., he's still doing a lot of work on the Emmett Till story, and for 10 years, I have been recording songs, and a lot of people didn't know who Emmett Till was until I started doing movies on YouTube, and I had a total million views do, doing nothing but going to different television stations like Grady Davis in Chicago, New York TV, uh, MNN. I've been all over CBS with Matt Metcalf. He should get a Nobel Peace Prize because he's the first one to talk about race on CBS here in Champaign on the University of Illinois on um, Neal Street, CI Living. So we are doing a lot to try to help the situations in our land. I'm a little bit perturbed at the fact that people are trying to blame President Trump for everything that's going on. I don't agree with some things that he does, but most things I do, I did vote for him. 
today I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you a picture of it. We're going to film that into that. We're going to take a picture and show you. This is my invitation. President Trump invited me to the inauguration. President Donald J. Trump. I was invited. This is my actual invitation. This is the envelope. This is where I really live. Okay. I don't live in Chicago. I haven't in a few years. Some of you don't know the reason why I came down here is because my oldest son was almost murdered down here. Uh, he was born here in Champaign. Um, I was a young mom, mother, and wife at the time, very young. And unfortunately, we had moved away. I was single. I wasn't with his father anymore. And I moved back to Chicago. I guess about a couple of years. He was very young when we moved back to Chicago. And he did very good. And he never got in any trouble. But he was working with children. And one night, he was just going home and they left him for dead on they meant for him to be dead on green street and the lord had told me it's a miracle the lord had told me to go on a fast and i was on the fast and i prayed and it was a it was a holiday and i had called and told his daughter to tell him i was coming down i was in chicago and she was young and she didn't tell him and three days later he was on the ground in a coma so God tried to prevent it, but sometimes when we don't move quickly, you know, things can happen. So I am a real prophetess. Three years before 9-11, I had never been to New York. I dreamed everything about the two bombings that I had never been near, and it actually happened like it did in a dream. But I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought it was going to happen out the country, but it happened. And I had never seen those buildings before. So when I was a child, I used to, every once in a while, find out ahead of time about some good funny things too like um my first love was in the service he had when i graduated when he graduated from high school he was he took me to the prom i loved him and he loved me but and he had given me two diamonds he was real kind but a lot of girls liked him and he calls out sneaking into chicago <laughs> and this is a true story and i'm a prophetess and i told my brother i said curtis is in town and he didn't tell me <laughs> And we were on the L going downtown to get our pictures taken. And I said, there he goes, right there. He drove on the damn right. And I saw him. He got busted. <laughs> and it was so funny. We just laughed about it. But we, we stayed together four years. But I just thank God. I've had so many good memories. So I just want to say also, this is dedicated to my grandchildren. Uh, first of all, my darling son, Alonzo Smith, who's always been so supportive of his mom, even though he almost got murdered. You know, he still has some issues, but God is still healing him. And I pray that he gets a wife. He doesn't want a wife, but I want him to have a wife. My youngest son, Chris Banks, I thank God for him. I don't get to see him often because he does not live in Illinois. His beautiful children. I love my baby granddaughter. Can't wait to see her. Alia is her name. Thanks. And my grandsons, Michael Jordan Banks. I love... My son must love Michael Jordan, and I taught Michael Jordan's niece in second grade. Um, Clarence Christopher Banks Jr., they are seven and eight years old. So I thank God for all of you and any other children that my son stepped. He has two stepchildren, I think. I'm not really familiar with their name. So we just thank God for all of you. I don't uh, thank God for all my supporters and everything like that. Oh, I can't say that part. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for now. I'm not too happy with what Al Sharpton said, okay, because maybe till Mobley started her quest about Emmett Till and one of the investigation opens way back, 50 years now, isn't it? No, let me see. It happened in 55. August of 28 was the real start of civil rights without my great-granddaddy, Pastor Mose Wright, being courageous enough to testify against the white man. He was the first black man to testify in court against a white man. Had he not done that and had the NAACP not did what they did and encouraged my great-granddaddy, Pastor Mose Wright, and me being the first great-grandchild of Pastor Mose Wright, my father was his first grandchild, had he not did what he did, he didn't want to hand over Emmett Till. They were going to kill all the children in the house, including Uncle Simeon Wright, who was with Emmett Till in the house. My auntie Mamie told me that she knew it was a lie, that he had not whistled. Because you know your son. He was a young child from Chicago. What does he look like talking and whistling at an older woman anyway? There is no such thing. I'm a former school teacher. Got a bachelor's degree in accounting from Roosevelt University. Graduated. Top of my class. Thank you. By the grace of God. Not by my, my own grace, 
but God. I used to repeat every day, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I have a miracle child, Chris Banks, because three months before, no, one month before I graduated from college at Roosevelt University, I was married at the time and I almost lost him. Three doctors said he was dead in my womb. The third doctor, when they said he was dead, I almost let them take him out. And then the Lord said, get an ultrasound. And he came back to life. The only problems my youngest son has, he came out hyper. You know, he grew out of it. But I would have rather him be in a little hyper than to be not born. So I thank God. I believe in miracles. So I'm going to say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for everyone that has a need. And as you see this footage, we're going to show you a little bit of this footage right now of little things that we're doing here. Great things, big things in the University of Illinois area, Urbana Public Arts Program, Urbana Council. They're doing so many things. We're, we're trying to make a difference in the community. There's different pastors. I'm, I'm on the council for a program they're going to have on Saturday, August the 18th. So I'm doing a lot of things at a church. They're having at 8 uh, Bethel. But anyway, go to my page and Evangelist Charlotte and subscribe. We're going to show you the movie now. And then I'm going to sing the song. Congratulations, gospel hip hop. Here we come. <laughs> so y'all hold on there. Don't, don't hang up. Keep on watching. Tell everybody else to come on to me. And I hope my friend Michael Williams is looking. If he's not looking, a good top player, famous good top player, somebody hit him up and tell him to be watching. Minister Seymour and the JTs, y'all not listening? Oh, well. Thank you for the times that you let me be in your show. And Snoop Dogg is your friend, so tell Snoop Dogg, keep on doing his gospel. I love what he do. Okay? Don't don't cut it off. I'm just going to sing now. Okay. Okay. Did you want me to move so you, you move? Yeah, you can move this. I'm going to do what I do. They get to see me sing live. Will they hear anything? No, they won't hear it, though. Really. On that, they will. On, on that. this, they will, too. They'll hear the music? Will it come out? On the music? On your phone? Um, no, but you can put it on like a speaker and they can. Oh, how will I sing without hearing the music though? Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't have it here. You can use my phone. Give me just I mean, a I mean, as far as um, once you cue it and play it, hmm. I'm supposed to sing with it. So how will we do that? So we can just play it or you can choose to start it and then you can sing it. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you could play it on your phone. Mm -hmm. and, then and then you can sing, I can with, sing it. with it. Yep. Okay, that'll work. You have that speaker? You can use your speaker if you have it in your backpack. Or if you have Oh, it. yeah, that speaker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do that. Is it I outside? Have... No, it's right here. Okay. I'll get it out of my bag. Y'all yeah, any... getting real live. Real live. This is what you call real TV. Live. Real live. Live TV. I love live TV and I like Recorded. I don't know which is better. What do you like better, film? Honestly, or... I like recorded because you can do whatever you want with it. Live TV can be unpredictable, but the more unpredictable means it's more fun, though. Now, this is what you have to do. Let's let them see what I gotta do. This what I gotta do. You gotta hold that for a minute. This is what you have to do for those of you that might be younger and may not never have been in a TV studio. Let me see. Who's all watching? Hey, Reggie Fish. He's a Kappa. I'm Captain Kid, and that's why I got on my red and white. I'm representing. All righty, now I was a Kappa Kid here at the University of Illinois. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't graduate until I got to Roosevelt University. <laughs> I had too much fun at the <laughs> University of Illinois. It was like I wasn't saved in y'all. I was a backslider, but I remember, and I, I'm saved, sanctified now. But back in the day, it was kind of rough. It was party, not mm -hmm. party with Jesus. What What's your song called here? Congratulations. I will let you type that in. Okay. Here, do you want me to hold your... Okay. I wonder, will it come up that way? On YouTube? If or... I just type in, congratulations, will it come up that way? I'm going to put these down right here. If it doesn't, I just have to uh, pull it up on under my name. Or you could always go acapella. Uh, what is this congratulations remix? That might be it. Let's see. No, that's, nah, that's so many people who have the same name. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So you know what? Mm. Mm. What about your Yahoo? My Yahoo? I, oh, I, I you, did it you, send it did yeah, you send it to me? Did you send it to me in the Gmail? Yahoo. Actually, what we can do is I can pull it up right here. 
Oh, you know what? <clears throat> right, because I can't play it on my um. I might still be able to play it on, but I don't. I'm scared. I might cut these people off if I do that. On your phone? Yeah. Hang on, I never got a link to your song. I only got a link oh, you didn't. to your um to your news article, your movies and pictures. Movies and pictures. You didn't get the one. The Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on one minute. If it did, I'm gonna try to send it again. Okay. You can always tell. Hold them. on, guys. If you get cut off, cut back on my page, okay? Hopefully, you won't get cut off, okay? Gotta I gotta pull my music up. <clears throat> Y'all know how to do. <clears throat> oh, great. You guys didn't hang up. <clears throat> my Facebook friends. Okay. You want me to start? You want to tell me when to start it? Yeah. We don't have a Bluetooth. You can't Bluetooth it though, right? So to no, go through no, the speaker. No, no, I got the speakers right here. Though. Oh, wait a minute. I think I can do it. Let me see. Okay. Me... Hey, you guys. I was trying to fix it so that um, I'm going to sing a little bit of it. And then y'all can see it when when it when it airs, it's gonna play the whole thing because I have to cut you guys off in order to put my music and cue my music and all that stuff. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sing a little bit of it, so you know it's really me singing. How about that? How about that? It's called Congratulations, Hey Fellas, Hey Girl. That's for all my Facebook friends. And I wrote this song when y'all. Just wish me all those lovely happy birthdays last year, September the 3rd. That's Evangelist Charlotte's real sneaky way of making you remember. Don't forget me, September the 3rd this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it, girl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all know I do that half fast. Think you do that half fast. That's what I'm talking about. I like what you did See, there. See, I like to hang with the younger people because they know how to have fun. We out here. We out here. I'm not bad for old G. But I'm a gospel OG. How about that? How about now, that? this song is really, on a serious note, is talking about those who used to be in the world. Congratulations. We were all born in sin, but because of the blood of Jesus, we have asked God to forgive us of our sins, and we're now saved. We ask God literally with your mouth. You got to do more than just go and shake the preacher's hand. You got to ask God to forgive you of your sins. Then you have to repent now. I thank God for Snoop Dogg. And that means Snoop Dogg, you're going to have to, you know, chill out on all that smoking that, you know, Jackson, uh, blood, you know and all that stuff. Y'all got a party with Jesus. Um, he's doing great with his gospel. But see, they got to learn. You know, we can't just... Now, I don't want nobody impersonating me talking about their pastor, buying a church, and God's not in that. You can't just all of a sudden, you're not even saved and you just go buy a church so you can be like Evangelist Charlotte. That's not God. And don't call yourself an evangelist because you haven't even gotten saved as a lady in Texas because you will go through the the trials and tribulations that God has built me up to go through and you might not be able to handle it. That doesn't mean that I'm perfect, but I strive to be perfect. And when I make a, a problem or whatever, if I have a problem, I go to God in prayer and ask God to forgive me of my sins. You got to do that all the time. You got to rebuild yourself up in the word. You got to build yourself in the Holy spirit. When you, when you need healing, you say by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Lord, heal me. You got to fast and pray. I fast and pray a lot. I intercede for my sons. I intercede for my hip hop friends that aren't saved. I hip intercede for the young men and the young women that's coming in to help me. So my future shows, I'm going to feature some other talent and other people. I'm going to come to Chicago and film some of you. God bless you. I'm going to sing a little bit of congratulations and then I will see you all later. And I, I like I said, I, I, I disagree with what Al Sharpton said. Auntie Mamie would be real upset because we don't never want to take it lightly. All these other cases don't have nothing to do with my case and my son's case. Um, all the other cases don't have nothing to do with Emmett Till. He didn't ask to be beaten. And the start of civil rights, without the start of civil rights, Rosa Parks probably wouldn't have did what she did. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I love his family, may not have did what they did. But it started August the 28th, 1955, before Rosa Parks started hers, December the 1st, 1955. So it was it's inspired by my great-granddaddy, Pastor Mose Wright and Auntie Mamie Tillmouthy. 
God bless you. God bless you. Here we go. Congratulations. Hang on, hang on. Why don't you come stand over here so okay. we get it on the camera too? Okay, I'm just going to bring them close up while I'm singing a little bit. I'm not going to sing the whole thing, just a little bit. Okay. You're Boy, good. I look fat on that camera. I don't look fat on this. Like, like hold this, you know, like. <laughs> I hold it like this. No, don't turn it around. Just turn it around the other way. Just do it the other way. Like this. Because it's Zoom. I don't want it Zoom. Okay. I want them to see the difference in my size. I am not fat. <laughs> Like uh okay, like this is what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay, I couldn't see myself. Like I don't look fat now. You don't look fat. But when I look on that that camera over there, I look look at look at that camera over there.